I remember thinking when I was a little bit smaller That all my days would be filled with happiness and fun But then I discovered it's not that easy Some days can get you down but the rest is up to us I won't hesitate to see something great Cause I choose, I choose joy, joy. All the lights on bright snow on the ground I hear the jingle bells jingling all around ho, ho, ho. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy All the carolers caroling through the town Everybody celebrate, it's going down ho, ho, ho. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy Sing it with me, hey There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy all it takes is sunshine through the rain And a little bit of laughter To spin some bad luck into a real good time It doesn't matter what life brings You gotta focus on the bright side You can be thankful, we can be grateful The choice is yours and mine I won't hesitate to see something great Cause I choose, I choose joy, joy. these Christmas decorations. I wish we could keep them up all year long. We can't though. I know. Hey, you got any plans for all of these lights? Oh, I think I've got a few ideas. <laughs> yeah! What are you wearing? Is that a suit from the movie Tron? Not Tron, John! <laughs> I should have never gotten you that glue gun for Christmas. Where's my bike? I gotta go get my light cycle. Hello, Merry After Christmas, everyone. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. How was your holiday, buddy? It was great, buddy. Oh, good, good, good. I love this time of year. You know, everyone is so much more thoughtful and a little more kind. It just, it feels like the Christmas season is what every day should feel like. You know, if we try harder and if we, if we care a little more, we'd be able to make it feel like that. Ah, right. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What? Oh, it's over. I'm packing it all up. No, you can't do that. Yeah, we no. do. Yeah, no, we're moving on to New Year's. Plus, I have to make sure I get a count of all these ornaments and things with my handy dandy little checklist. <laughs> oh, oversized ornaments. Up oh, right there. <laughs> No, wait, no, did you, did you not hear my entire monologue about how important this season is to me? I guess. What, what does ornaments and lights have to do with it? It sets the mood, all right? Look, just, 
can you just leave them up and for the rest of the show? Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I mean, it's not a lot to ask. Thank you. Okay. Today on the show, we're doing some. What? Well, no! Yes! No, I can't. It's over. You I have to let this. go of the past. Christmas is over, my friend. It's never over. Give yes, me. it is. No. Nope. Christmas nope. is never over. Check your calendar! Okay. Okay. I'll just mark that as half a check. Christmas isn't over. All right. Look, Christmas is the celebration of Jesus' birth, right? Right. So, so what makes birthdays so special is that they only happen one day out of every year. Now, wouldn't it get old if we celebrated your birthday one day or every day out of the year? I, that, I think I would enjoy that. No, you wouldn't. You would get so sick and tired of everybody singing happy birthday every single day. You would not want to eat birthday cake oh, every single day. That sounds amazing. Oh, I don't believe that. I you would want to eat birthday cake every day. I so could. Prove it. Okay, I will. See, I told you, I could eat cake every day. Fun, was it? So fun. Can I have some? No. This mama so fun is coming. Hey guys. Doing a little post-Christmas cleanup. I'm trying to clean up, Kellen, but apparently I'm ruining the mood. And I'm trying to keep the Christmas celebration going. There is nothing wrong with that. In fact, our story today is about a few guys who wanted to celebrate Jesus long after Christmas Day. Okay, can't wait to hear it. Take it away, Kellen. Sure will. Lights. When Jesus was born, wise men from the East noticed a star shining in the sky. Look at that! Do you see? I've never seen that star before. Does that star mean what I think it means? Only one way to find out. To Jerusalem! Oh. <laughs> Somehow, when they saw the star, the wise men knew that God had sent a savior. The Savior God had promised to send the world for years and years. They didn't have all the information, but they knew that they would find answers in Jerusalem. They had a long journey ahead, so they traveled. Are we in Jerusalem yet? Uh, uh, no. And traveled. How about now? Nope. And traveled. Are we? No. no. Until finally, they arrived in Jerusalem. When they got there, they started to ask all around. Excuse me. Maybe you can help us. We are from the East, and we were wondering if you knew where we could find the child that's been born to be king of the Jews. We saw a star. Right. And we've come to worship him. The king of Judea, King Herod, was also in Jerusalem. When word got back to him that the wise men were looking for a king sent by God himself, he was not happy. I am not happy! They've come to worship a king, and it's not me! That's what they said, your majesty. That's preposterous! I am mad, I tell you! A pig man! 
God! <gasps> Wait. Teachers! Uh, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Huh? Oh, stand up! Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Okie doke. Where do these uh, prophets say the Messiah will be born? In Bethlehem, your highness. Mm, I see. Bring these wise men to me, secretly. <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Uh, do what now? <sighs> oh! So King Herod had a secret meeting with the three wise men. He found out from them when the star had appeared, and then he sent them on to Bethlehem. Go and find this child, and when you find him, report back to me. Then I can go, uh, worship him. <laughs> Okay, guess we'll be going then. The wise men continued their journey, this time to Bethlehem. The star they'd seen stopped over the house where the child was. Come in. Uh, it's him! God be praised! What is this? We've traveled very far to worship the Savior God has sent. And we brought presents fit for a king! Yes, I brought gold! And frankincense! I brought myrrh! <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like the myrrh? It's very nice. I told you she liked the burr. Praise be to God! The wise men were filled with joy because they got to see Jesus face to face. They had planned to go back to Jerusalem on their way home, but God warned them in a dream not to return to King Herod. So they returned to their country on a different road. Are we there yet? Why are you like this? Why didn't we take the convertible? The end. The wise men traveled a long way to celebrate Jesus. And it wasn't even Christmas Day. It doesn't have to be Christmas to celebrate all that God has done for us through his son. So you're saying we should keep decorations up all year. Well, you could do that, I guess. But... I think there might be better ways to celebrate Jesus throughout the year. Like what? Why don't you ask them? Oh, uh, why don't you do the honors? <gasps> oh, all right. <clears throat> Reveal the question. How can you celebrate Jesus all year long? Well, you can read about him in the Bible, the stuff he said and did. Uh, you can pray or sing songs to tell him how you feel about him. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can celebrate Jesus by loving people the way he loves us. Uh, d d don't give them all the answers, Kellen. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for the story. You bet, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Talk about it with each other. How can you celebrate Jesus all year long? I think one way I can celebrate is by helping a friend clean up this mess we made. We can put up the decorations? Yes. I, well, <gasps> maybe we can keep just one. Oh. Uh, Ah, that should work. That's awesome. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. We'll see you next year on The So-and-So Show. Have a great rest of the year. Okay. This is a good idea. This is a really good idea. This lamp, I just rescued this lamp. Oh. Gives off energy by itself. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, whoop, I, I found some lights in a needle stack. <laughs> How can I now I can't check off the checklist? <laughs> <laughs>